Today is Monday, April the 27th. I am Christian Yarbrough. And I'm Alana. And here are your weekly announcements. Tomorrow morning at 8.30 in the Worship Center, there is a meeting for all junior students and parents who are unable to attend the meeting last Thursday evening. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Spears. Also, tomorrow, those that are participating in local missions in June, there will be a Bible study at 7.30 tomorrow morning in Ms. Dolman's room. Please be there and remember to have read James 1 before you come. Wednesday, during lunch, there will be a National Honor Society meeting in the Sossman. Please bring your lunch and be on time. Our chapel speaker this week will be the Barrick family with Hope Out Loud. Please bring your Bibles and be prepared for a great time. Wednesday and Thursday, the 10th grade will be in Atlanta. Pray for safe travels and for all students that are going. Fun time. By this Friday, all seniors should make decisions and deposits on the college of their choice and let all other colleges know that they will not be attending. Also, Friday the 8th graders will be going to Carowinds. Over spring break, the Leap of Faith dancers performed in Disney. Here's a clip of their performance. <laughs> Over spring break, the Leap of Faith dance team and junior dancers were able to take a trip to Orlando, Florida to perform in Disney World and also attend Project Dance, which is a Christian dance convention. When we went to the first worship service, we didn't expect the power of God to be so evident and so thick as it was, but when we were in a room full of dancers and we were dancing, we were praising to the same worship songs that we hear every day in chapel, but the form of worship became dance and the form of prayer became dance over everyone. And it was so powerful, and the spirit was definitely moving, and we want to bring that to chapel this year. Thanks, Alana. Outstanding performances came from the track team last week. Billy Edwards came in second in discus, throwing 137 feet, and in girls, Caroline Walters came in third, throwing a distance of 93 feet, 8 inches. Jacob Titherington jumped a distance of 17 feet, 8 inches in a long jump, beating his old personal record. Also, varsity soccer team is currently 12-1 overall and 10-1 in the conference as of last April the 21st. Your home games for the week are as follows. Tuesday, JV Baseball will be playing United Faith Christian Academy. The MAC tournament games start today. This includes varsity baseball, soccer, and softball. Varsity baseball is playing Concord First Assembly at 4 o'clock. Varsity soccer is playing Westminster, Westminster Catawba at 6 o'clock. Varsity softball has a bye. And also Monday night during the varsity soccer halftime, all senior athletes for the spring season will be recognized on the varsity football field. Be sure to support your peers. Metrolina is the host for this year's MAC Conference, which means all conference games for the second and third round will be played on our field. On Tuesday, varsity baseball starts at 2 o'clock, varsity softball starts at 2.30, and varsity stock soccer starts at 4 o'clock. On Thursday, the championship games will begin. Check with your teachers to see if any of our teams will be participating in this round. The games will start at 4.30 for baseball and softball, and soccer will begin at 6 o'clock. Those are all your sports for this week. We will let you know if, how your teams did this week during the, our newscast next week. Now here's Gretchen Gillenwater and Hope Nikolai with your devotions. Thanks, Christian. I'm Gretchen and I'm Hope. Today's scripture comes from 1 Peter 1, 18-19. God paid a ransom, ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. And the ransom he paid were, was not mere gold or silver. He paid for you with the precious lifeblood of Christ, the sinless spotless Lamb of God. Several centuries ago, a Protestant scholar named Moreno was faced, to, was faced into exile 
in Lombardy, Italy. Living in poverty, he fell seriously ill and was taken to a hospital for the poor. The doctors, assuming that Morano was edu uneducated, began speaking in Latin among themselves at his bedside. They said, this, this worthless creature is going to die anyway, so let us try an experiment on him. Marina, of course, knew that Latin almost as well as his native language. Summoning his strength, he raised himself up and said to the surprised doctors, how can you call worthless someone for whom Christ died? By God's estimation, you were worth the death of his son while you were stuck in your sin. There was nothing about you to, to attract God to you or to cause him to send his son to die for you. You weren't righteous, you weren't moral, you weren't a sinner, the total opposite of the perfect lamb. But God saw you as lovable when, when your value skyrocketed, when Jesus gave up his life for you. That's all your devotion. Thank you. Thanks, Gretchen and Hope, for that wonderful devotion. And that's all your announcements for this week, so have a blessed one. We'll see you next week.